with that uh, smooth segue, we bring in Star- <laughs> Steve Sarkeesian, the uh, USC head coach. Uh, Steve, uh, welcome to the program. Um, I got Ron Burgundy here with me. And, uh, you know, he says he's prepared to ask you the tough questions, just so you know. I'm, I'm sure it's great to be on, Dan. That's a tough act to follow there from old Noah, so hopefully you can do a little better than that. <laughs> uh, we might want to just shut the show down yeah. and walk around the block for 20 minutes. Yeah, We might get shut down after that. When, when it came to this job, how long did it take for you to accept the job? Well, it, it was obviously a, a difficult decision. You know, Dan, we had – I've been proud of the work that we did at the University of Washington, and, and it was a lot of hard work there for five years and great people uh, and support, and um, I really felt like that program is, is headed in the right direction. But at the end of it all, when you're able to, to, to take the emotion out of it and really assess the jobs, assess the opportunity for me to come back to Los Angeles – uh, and to do something special here at USC and be part of the Trojan family, it, it, made, it, it made the decision actually quite easy at the end. Any hesitation? Well, there's always some hesitation. There's always some, uh, you know, as you're trying to evaluate uh, jobs and opportunities and, and families and, and players on your own team, players on your new team, um, there's always hesitation in the sense of uh, you just want to make sure you're making the right decision. But then once you make it, it feels great, and I couldn't be more fired up to be part of the Trojan family again. When you joined us a couple of months ago, and there were already the whispers there, and I know you say all the right things, and at times there's a must-lie situation. Um, how difficult was it to know that there was interest and still do your job? Well, it wasn't. It wasn't difficult. That we were. You know, I wanted to win a championship this year at UW, and and that was a good football team. I couldn't control anything that was going on down here at SC. I could only control what I could control at, at, at Washington. And um, I really focused on the task at hand, I, and I thought we did a really good job of that. Uh, the end result was, you know, after our last ball game and when they reached out after their last ball game, I think there was mutual interest, and that's why we, we had the opportunity to visit and to talk and got to the point where I got named head coach here and, and couldn't be more excited about it. What's the state of the program right now at USC with another year of uh, scholarship, uh, you know, uh, restrictions? I think this is a really talented roster, Dan. Uh, I've been meeting with every one of these kids individually. Uh, they've all been coming through, and uh, they, they, to the credit of the previous staff, they've recruited extremely well with the limitations that they have from a scholarship number. So the, the roster is very talented. What we need to get done here in the next year or two is really develop the depth when we get our numbers right uh, so that we can weather the storm if and or when the injuries do occur. Um, but I like these kids. It's really talented. I think we're going to put a tremendous staff in place that is going to recruit like crazy and, and put a team together that's going to compete for a championship next season. He's Steve Sarkeesian, the USC head coach, joining us, Dan Patrick Show. Ron? Open fire. Oh, I wasn't listening. Um, listen, I, uh, you've been in the coaching game a long time. Um, I used to love when you coached back at Notre Dame uh, in the 60s and 70s. Uh, why did you choose USC? Well, that was, that was era. Oh, Parsegan. this is not era Parsegan. Yeah. No, no, this is Steve Sarkis. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm not familiar um, with who you are. It's great to be back. It's great to be back home. I will say that. And, um, you know, I had some great times here at USC for, for seven years with some tremendous people, great players, uh, special moments that, that last a lifetime. And to have that opportunity to be back as head coach now and to have the ability to hopefully create those, those memories, not only for myself, but for these players, for these coaches, and for our fans, uh, couldn't be more excited about it. Uh, coach, the question on everyone's mind, will you do a Delaware wing tea or will you bring back the wishbone? <laughs> we are going to, we're going to, we're going to run our offense and it'll okay, be. Okay. So it'll a lot of fullbacks, people. multiple fullback sets at times, at times there could be multiple fullback sets. Will you ever line up? Will you ever, sets. you ever go three tight ends? Yes. There'll be a time when okay. we'll be in some three tight end sets. So, the beauty of our offense, Ron, is that it's multiple and that we've got a lot to it. That, but the key to it all is that we have to have do it with great tempo, mm-hmm. um, with uh, with speed, with urgency, and ultimately with execution. Do you want uh, celebrities like Ron on the sidelines, Coach? I do. I do. Obviously, there's a compliance piece to it all, Dan, that we're still working through. 
um, and understanding. But I think that's one of the, the great and unique things about USC is to have those relationships with a guy like Ron uh, and, and Magic Johnson, all those types of people that you, that are here in L.A. That, that make this place unique and make it special. And so we're going to continue to forge those relationships, not only with those celebrity types, but with all of the great Trojans that have played here, um, because that's that's what makes this place special and unique, and we have to lean on that. Well, here's the uh, weird part is Ron is yeah. not a big fan of Will Ferrell. And yeah, I know I, I don't I don't care for him. Yeah. And Will is a big USC supporter. So there could be an awkward situation there if Ron and Will show up on the side. Coach, are you going to call? You your, know what would be, you, go ahead. Ron, Ron, would you be willing? Can you hear me? Willing? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. Can you hear me, Ron? I, can you hear me? What yes. I think would be great, Dan, is if we got Ron and mm-hmm. Will suited up, padded up, and mm-hmm. just had a little tackling drill with the two of them. Who, who, what do you think would happen, Dan? Who would win that one? I think Will Ferrell's soft. Uh, it's got a soft underbelly. You're, t- you're talking about a man maker drill. Oh yeah, it's yeah. Called the Oklahoma drill. The Oklahoma drill. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I would go Burgundy in a second. This guy's dirty. Oh, Burgundy would knock that kid's teeth out. Yeah, he's filthy. Will Ferrell's soft, pretty boy. Uh, went Hollywood. He's uh, got weak ankles. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'd take Burgundy okay. in a second. We might have to make that happen. I'll see what I can do. Well, congrats. Uh, what did you do with all your uh, UW uh, gear? <laughs> It's still in my house, quite honestly. I've, I'm living out of a suitcase here and just trying to just trying to get two feet on the ground and, and hire a great staff. So, um, like I said before, Dan, I want to thank University of Washington. What a tremendous opportunity they gave me for five years. Uh, and I really feel like I've left that program in a better place than, than where it was than when I got there. Um, but, man, I'm, I'm pumped to be a Trojan and couldn't be more excited. I uh, can't wait to do coach, special things here. Coach, if you need a special teams coach, I'm, I'm available. You can coach special teams. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What uh, What's your specialty on special teams? Uh, mostly punt formations and um, kickoff returns. Kickoff. Do you like the shield? Do you like the shield punt I'm, formation? I, I don't like the shield. I like to tell guys just run run backwards as fast as you can and scream like children. <laughs> okay, I'll look into it. I'll okay. get you an interview, Ron. Thank you. Are you uh, Are you going to reach out to Ed Ogeron? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Is there still I, a chance he could join your staff? I I don't think so at this point. Ed uh, obviously resigned, and and you know Ed 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 did a lot for this university, and I've known Ed since 2001, and he's a great Trojan. He did a tremendous job over the last two months of of really re-energizing these kids and keeping them positive and and winning football games. But he wants to be a head coach, and I understand that. And um, you know, but I, I will reach out to him because he does have a great pulse of this university. Well, uh, good luck, and uh, thank you for surviving the uh, questions from Ron Burgundy. All right, guys. Thanks a lot. Thank you, Steve. That's uh, Steve Sarkeesian. Bye, Steve. He didn't say goodbye. No, he didn't. He hung up. The Dan Patrick Show, weekday mornings on Audience.